If you're looking to spin emeralds, spin them on open and outland chests or big money blue balls. But if you're trying to open outland chests, try to wait until there's a discount on them. I think that might be tomorrow or the day after. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the cyber shop that's live on Hero Wars Mobile right now as part of the overall Cyber Week event. When worlds collide, holiday every day, whatever you want to call this activity. It's the it's the Thanksgiving celebration here in the United States. And then, of course, uh, worldwide, we got a nice little four-day event to go along with it. A bunch of tasks that are going to reward you these chip keys. You know, some just logging in, you're going to get free emeralds and you can get some cosmetic stuff for buying stuff. Of course, this, this applies to buying emeralds or skins or VIP or anything, but that's not why you clicked on the video. You probably clicked on the video to figure out if this cyber skin plus is worth getting and what things to get from the cyber shop. Well, the cyber shop's pretty straightforward, but I tell you, the cyber skins, while all three are absolutely beautiful, this Amira skin, in my opinion, is the first actual super skin that is a must have. And I'll talk to you about why in just a second. Fox getting a little bit of uh, critical hit chance is nice. I do see her as a little bit more of a support hero, a support damage dealer hero, but she does do a good amount of damage. Having bonus crit is like gaining a little bit more random chance. So I'm not a huge fan of critical hit or, or dodge skins or stuff like that. I think they are valuable, but unless you have a ton of it, which, you know, Fox does have a good amount of critical hit for what she is then it's not really that effective. If she was a big damage dealer, then critical hit would be super important. I don't know what would have been a better option for her, but I think it's just fine. It probably is a low priority unless she is your primary damage dealer on your Guild War Arena or Global Championship team. The Iris skin, I'm not really a huge fan of armor for uh, for Iris. Obviously, it's gonna be helpful against some splash damage, Artemis lines that do you know area of effect physical attack to the whole team and Kira lines and different Different teams that do, uh, you know, physical attack to the whole team. I think this is a low priority skin. This one and the Fox skin, I would just wait until it's in the Outland chest or wait a little bit longer until you can purchase it with a skin certificates. That would be my opinion when it comes to these two. But this skin right here, the Magic Penetration skin, the big thing with Amira, which I am starting to come around to Amira a lot more than I, than I was, and that's that's how things are. Every time a new hero is released, I don't even know where my Amira is on this account. Every time a new hero is released, it takes a couple of months before people really figure out how to use them. This uh, ultimate ability right here does a lot of damage, no surprise there. She buries the enemy team on gold, does a ton of uh, magic damage, 400% magic attack, right? These other abilities are based on magic attack. While helpful, they don't actually do any damage. They're more of the control and support side of Amira. But here's the thing, Amira is a mage, right? Magic damage dealer, but she also has all these other control and support abilities. Her damage is hard to time artifact weapon buffs. If you're playing in manual mode and you're using a hero like Lilith or Orion or Faceless or any other magic penetration artifact hero to pair with Amira, you have to time the artifact weapon to go off when Careless Wish explodes in order to get the full value of the magic damage. It's hard to time it. If you're playing in manual mode, you can't time it. Obviously, if you're on defense, you can't time it at all. Because she really doesn't do any other damage, you need a set amount of magic penetration added to her you know, at all times. And the skin being extra, you know, 10,650 is not gonna put her over every hero's base magic defense. I think there's a couple of heroes that still have higher. In fact, I do have a spreadsheet on my website, herowarcentral.com. Go check that out if you're interested in who has the highest magic defense and who has the highest magic penetration. Getting this 10,650 magic penetration to have active at all times is gonna be absolutely invaluable for whenever she does go off. And then of course, if, you are inclined to do that if you are using a mirror in your team then spending 85k worth of these chips on her cybernetic skin plus is absolutely going to be the priority that's absolutely going to be the cyber shot priority in just about every instance and if you're not using a mirror in your main team they say that the super skins are going to come around again for purchase sometime in the future they say that but until that happens i'm not sure that I actually really believe it. The super skin for Amira is absolutely the best of all of the super skins that have been released. I don't wanna say that it's a must, must have because nothing in this game really is a must, must have, though I think that this is gonna be the most important to the hero of all of the released skins so far. Now, from there, we traditionally say things like 
The skin stones are uh, a nice safe buy, especially if you're a free-to-play player. Getting more just straight-up specific resources without randomness is always a good choice. Buying these items are uh, not a bad choice either. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you a lot of energy. Lycanthrope's Fangs, Lamort's Map, a couple of other items in here, Alchemist's Set. Some of the recipes down here are going to be pretty good also. Specifically, the efficiency, I'm not sure about. Maybe uh, if you know that one item is more efficient than the others, please let me know in the comment section down below. But these chests right here, the, uh, the Cyber Box, people keep telling me that these have been updated to be super handy. And you can see that a good chunk of the uh, of the higher rate, the 8.3, 8.0, or I'm sorry, 8.13, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, and you can even say the skin stone chest, eight items right there. Well, runes are good too. There's a lot of really strong hero specific resources in these chests. It used to be that there was a lot more resources. When once you get the avatar out of here, that's taken out of the loot pool completely. I would say that the only bad items to get out of here, if you're an avatar, Average player or brand new player or even a player uh, that's been playing for a couple of years like you and me the only bad resource out of this would be gold and we could all use a little bit more gold with Titan artifacts and, and, and all of that artifact essence chest scroll chest metal chest enchantment runes for our glyphs skin stone chests I mean all of these are great items to have that we need literal millions of <laughs> literal millions of these resources I don't think you can go wrong just spending everything on cyber boxes yeah I think that uh, if you're not interested in buying the cybernetic skin and you don't want to think about this event at all then just dumping everything in the cyber box i don't think you'd be wrong but you know if you want to buy an item or two here and there you absolutely wouldn't be wrong either i think that i will probably be buying two lamort's map to finish off a specific hero that i've been working on for a little while but i am starting to think a little bit about building an amir team because of this skin i'm hesitant to chase this one because i haven't chased any of the other ones yet and as far as i know you should be able to get enough of the uh, of the currency whatever it's called chip keys in order to get that uh, that skin without having to spend a ton of money. Of course, you can buy your way to the front of the line by buying these special offers right here. There is a times four emerald sale active on all slots. I really don't know how long that's going to last. There's a couple of discounts strewn about. The heroic chest is a it's a bad buy. Don't don't do that one. In years past, they rotate the discounts throughout the uh, the week of Cyber Week. So the artifact chest may get a discount in a little bit. The outland chests may get a discount sometime in the next day or two. It looks like big money blue balls are discounted right now for the next day. And again, once this one ends, there will be different discounts elsewhere in the game of Hero Wars Mobile. So hope everybody is finally enjoying this event. I was way off. I thought the event was going to go live like Monday. If you're looking to spin emeralds, spin them on opening outland chests or big money blue balls. But if you're trying to open outland chests, try to wait until there's a discount on them. I think that might be tomorrow or the day after. Hope everybody's having a great day. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.